All right, so uh, we just got done with our DCR uh, pump installation on our 2012 uh, Ford Power Stroke, and we're up at SNS today, and we brought uh, our data logger with her with us. Uh, SNS actually sent a, a data logger out with a kit, so to make sure that that's part of their beta testing process is to make sure that. Uh, the pumps that they have that they're out in the field, they're prototyping like this DCR are functional and they're doing what they're supposed to do. Um, they've got the data points that came from the data logger into a, a fancy program that just lays it all out into charts for us. And I'm just going to, uh, I'll, I'll just touch on it real lightly because this is totally Luke's wheelhouse. But this is just basically showing you that the pump is doing exactly what the truck is, is telling you to do. So. This fourth set of graphs here, this is actual and commanded fuel rail pressure. Uh, you can see the red and the blue moving together pretty seamlessly. This aqua line underneath of it, this is your deviant, uh, your deviation between the two of those. Uh, then you have, you know, duty cycle, and I'll kind of let Luke talk through some of the specifics of, of these data points. Yeah, so Ian's driving, uh, Ian's kind of been our main development engineer uh, on this project. He's got his fancy DDM program here where we do lots and lots of data post-processing um, and this data logger was on board basically as soon as they installed the DCR last night had the data logger on board this data logger is, we've developed for this project uh, to collect all the information relative to the fuel system and engine controls and whatnot so um, you can basically see their engine RPM is up here um, accelerator pedal position is in here and we're basically looking for all the parameters around engine control fuel system control stuff like that um, Ian, if you can find maybe that area where they were shipping through the gears. So there's kind of an example. You can see uh, idle down here, runs up through the gears, shift points throughout there. <clears throat> and then um, we're watching commanded rail pressure and actual. And you can see at low load, you know, it's low pressure. And then as you're running through the gears, your rail pressure command varies throughout the full cycle and that's very intentional that from the you know the factory it's doing that for emissions and power requirements and everything but the key is that the pump follows the command and as you can see here there's two lines but they're almost hard to tell they're on top of each other so well the pump control is working um, very well and it uh, lays right over the top of each other throughout the drive cycle so everything looks good so far um, like I say we just you know, had this on here. We've been doing this for months uh, with a variety of vehicles, but as another new install and as a part of kind of beta test stuff, like Wade was mentioning, we wanted to get some data from it and everything looks good. Ian's got a couple graphs, bar chart histograms here, just to give you an idea. This is rail pressure deviation. So that would be your command versus your actual, gives you an idea of overall throughout all of the data points um, how it looks and you can see it's all centering right here around zero just like we want yeah. um, on hard accelerations or tip outs and all that kind of stuff even in factory form you get a little bit of pressure overshoots and undershoots but the key is that uh, you don't get any of it for any amount of time basically so everything looks good and go back to that other one I was nerd out here for just saying the cool thing about 6M power stroke is uh, back to the first one uh, the cool thing about 6M Power Stroke is we get low, so we get to see low side too on it too. So, you know, on uh, none of the other platforms other than the 6M Scorpion do we actually get to see low side fuel pressure. So that's another thing when you're looking at, yep. you're, you're analyzing something like this to make sure that, you know, first things, do you have correct lift pump pressure? Yep. Uh, so that's just a nice point. Not, unrelated to what we're looking at here, this shows exactly what the truck's doing, what it's doing, but it is a testament to uh, them being able to put the fuel temp and the, uh, the low side fuel pressure sensor back into play and still being able to record those data points. So, yep. Guys, appreciate you watching. Thanks.